Hello everyone, welcome to my very first video on YouTube. Um, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I created <coughs> a week by week league table. So basically what I've done is I've brought in all the results and I've spread basically put them into week numbers. So week one fixtures, week two fixtures, as you see here. And the reason why I've done it was um, this is all done in Power Query, by the way. And the reason why I've done it is I thought it might be interesting to maybe look at some some data uh, based on league positions of teams rather than the teams themselves. Um, plus, I thought it would be a fun thing to do anyway. Um, so what this will involve, obviously, you'll need Excel. And I'll be showing you how to do, use various functions, um, such as the index function and custom function. So um, first of all, we'll open a new book and we'll get our data okay so gonna open our fresh page and this what we need to do is we need to bring in the data so if we click on here uh, this is the site I'm going to use football footballdata.co.uk if you look here there is historical data which is great because what it means is we can get results from the past and it's free to download too which is even better um, so I'm going to click on historical data and if you look here there's all various leagues um, so if we click on England football results and if you look down here there's the different seasons as well um, so what we're going to do we're just going to look at past seasons not look at the current season so what we'll do is if I look at uh, if I go to here Premier League and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it as a it's basically a download start off with this there is other ways but for this exercise i'm going to do it as a download just to make it simple so if we just um click on here premier league it's going to start the download and what i'm going to do there is um i'm going to put it into a separate folder so what i've done is i've created a folder oops i'll get there eventually uh, just now I've just called it leagues. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to place that in the leagues folder with that. Obviously, I know some people will will know all this, um, but there will be some people new to Excel. So I just want to go through it stage by stage, just to try just to try and make it nice and easy with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Excel. And here we go. We're going to go to data. We're going to get data and we're going to get data from folder with that. And the reason why I've done it by folder is so that if you take out that download we've just done and put a different one in, hopefully it'll update with the new data with that. So we've just got desktop and I'm going to, there it is, leaks. I'm just going to click on that and then just click open. And what it's going to do is it's it's going to bring that in. <clears throat> and I'm just going to click on transform. It's a tiny little bit of time. Okay. And where it says content, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to put remove of the columns. And then I'm going to click on the two double lines. And it's just going to sort itself out now. And that should pull in the data. Here we go. So just click OK. OK. So what we're going to do is where if you look here this is the data it's it's got the um it's got the scores home team away team etc but it's also got a lot of other data which is the betting data which we don't want we, for the league table we're not interested we don't want the odds and stuff so i'm going to click on i'm going to click on there and then i'm going to shuffle this all the way along to let's see half time yeah half time home goals so 
press on shift first, keep your finger on it, and then tap, and it'll highlight all of them. Right click, remove the columns. That's quite good, I made a mistake, but that's really good, because the thing is I can show you what to do if you do make a mistake. So if you look here, applied steps, um, what we'll do is it, it's got all the different things we've just done. So I'm just gonna tap that cross there, remove the columns, and boom, it's gonna bring it all back in again. So I'll do that again. So I'm gonna to go to half-time home goals, click on that, and then keep your finger on shift, tap. <laughs> And then right click, and what I should have done was remove columns, not other columns. So there we go. So now we're left with the data that we actually require. Now that we've done that, we're also going to remove the time column because we don't need that. And what we'll do next is I'm going to change these. And I'm just going to change it to home in lower case and aware <clears throat> in lower case okay now that we've done that um i'm going to change this and i'm going to replace values and i'm just going to change it to premier league e or premier league Premier League. Okay, let's change it to Premier League. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in ascending order of the date. So that starts from the obviously first first uh, start of the season. And next, what we're going to do is I'm going to click on Home, and I'm going to click on press Control, keep um, finger on it full-time home goals, I'm going to right click, will it let me, no, I'll have to do one at a time, so click on there, and then right click, we're going to duplicate the column for the home team, and then the full-time home goals, we're going to right click on that, and we're going to duplicate that too, okay, and then we're going to merge them, I'll explain in a second why, so click there, Click merge columns, and the way we're going to do with the separator is going to be a space, and we're just going to put in a H. It doesn't have to be anything particular at the minute, we're not going to need that much. So now we've got Brentford 2, and then we're going to do the same with the away team. So click on the away team, duplicate the column, and then full time away goals, click on that, duplicate the column. And then again, we're going to merge it. We're going to merge it a different way this time. So I'm going to click on. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it with this one here, the away goals. Press Control, hit the key, and then I'm going to right click and merge. The same again. I'm just going to put a space, and then I'm just going to put type in an A for away. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to merge those two columns that we've just done together. So click one and control, top again, <clears throat> right click merge columns. And the separator this time, I'm just going to press a custom. I'm going to put me on in, I'm going to go space V space, and I'm going to call that match. Okay, click enter. And then what we've got now is we've got Brentford to Arsenal nil. So the idea is you look at the teams either side and the score's easy to read in the middle. I just find it easier, it works for me. Okay. So, and we're going to use that to reference all the various things we're going to be doing so we can check that our data is correct. Okay. So now that we've done that, just again, just make sure the date's in the sending and I'm going to put the match in the center as well, just to keep it neat. 
And then what we're going to do is we are going to tap on home, press control, tap on aware, and then click on unpivot columns. And what this is going to do is it's going to, if you look over here, attribute and value. So it, it's just basically to move, move them down one each. So it's easier so we, for us to put the data in. So we've got Brentford, Brentford there now. The home team was Brentford, which is correct. The way team, Arsenal, which is correct. I'm going to change that to team. Oops. Team. And I'll keep that as keep that as attribute okay and then this one here full-time as well I'm just going to transform it oops tap on the FTR and then scroll down and transform it just to blow a case okay so and I think what we'll do here is we'll put that as I'm going to call it tables because that's what, or table, because that's what's going to end up being a table with that. Okay, so all you need to do now is, um, for the moment, I'm going to tap here and I'm going to tap on, just tap on there, just, it's just going to close and load it in. And then therefore, if you want to, you can just save it ready for the next time. If you want to follow us on part two of the, of the video, it's probably going to be about four parts this. Um, so yeah, so if you just save it, click on there, save it to where you want to, and that should be it. And then like I say, see part two, we'll carry on from where we are and we'll do the next step. Okay, if you like what you see, obviously click the like button. Uh, if you subscribe, if I bring any more on, you'll get notified and just press subscribe but uh, like I said thank you for watching and look forward to hopefully seeing you again in the next video